So you're thinking about moving to Bellingham, but you've either never been here or just been here a time or two, and you really don't understand the layout of the city, where each neighborhood is located, and the proximity to the things that are gonna be important to you while you're here. Well, in this video, we're gonna jump into my computer and with the help of Google, take a tour of Bellingham to help you better understand this city and all the great stuff that's going on. We're gonna get started right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, we encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know when we release new videos about all the great things that are going on here in Bellingham. My name is Jeff Engen. I'm with MJB Real Estate Group based in Bellingham, Washington. And every day we get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you who are considering a move here to the Pacific Northwest. And we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving tomorrow, 10 months from now, sometime in between, we encourage you to reach out. All of our contact information can be found below and we would love to be of help to you in any way that we can. Uh, without further ado, let's jump into the computer and let's explore Bellingham. Hi, well, welcome to my computer and thank you so much for being here. As promised, we are diving into uh, Google Maps and a handful of uh, websites to help us get better acquainted with Bellingham. And my hope for you today uh, in this video is that we accomplish a few things. One would be to help you better understand the location of Bellingham. Number two would be to talk a little bit about Bellingham International Airport. Number three is to talk in a little bit of detail uh, about the neighborhoods here in Bellingham. Number four is food and drink. Five is retail. And six is things to do. So we've got a lot to cram into uh, what will be uh, hopefully not too much time, uh, but hopefully also provide you a lot of value with regards to better understand Bellingham. So the first thing we're, we're looking at here on the screen is the state of Washington. So on this map, Bellingham is approximately here, and we're going to zoom in here momentarily, but you can see on the map here that we've got Seattle to our south. That's approximately 90 miles south of Bellingham. You've got Vancouver, Canada, uh, approximately 40 miles north of us uh, here in Bellingham. And so travel time to each one of those destinations is, of course, going to vary based on traffic, uh, particularly with Canada. It's going to, to vary based on the border wait time. Anytime you're going to be traveling out of the Bellingham area and heading towards uh, a major metropolitan area, it's always a great idea to check your favorite maps app on your phone to get a sense of what's going on. Uh, phenomenally convenient, all things considered, to both Seattle and to Vancouver, and that affords you a lot of opportunities for um, access to entertainment, to food, travel accommodations that, uh, that you may not have access to here in Bellingham. But at the same time, you get to live in this great, you know, 90 some odd thousand person city uh, and or 225 some odd thousand person county uh, and not deal with a lot of the, the downsides, particularly just even pick traffic in and of itself uh, of living in these larger cities. See on the screen right now is Bellingham outlined in red and that is specifically the Bellingham city limits. So there are a variety of neighborhoods, uh, as you can see here to the left, this Marietta uh, Alderwood neighborhood, down south, this Chuckanut neighborhood, kind of a, a bit east or southeast, you've got Sudden Valley. Now, these are all going to be Bellingham addresses. These are all going to feed into the Bellingham public school system, um, but they are technically outside of Bellingham city limits. So let's talk a little bit about the Bellingham International Airport. I'm going to scroll back up top here. And so this is portofbellingham.com. Um, so really clean, nice, easy airport to travel from. There are currently three main um, carriers that provide service out of the Bellingham Airport. And then you have San Juan Airlines as well, which is just a small independent regional. But Alaska, Allegiant, and Southwest. And uh, as we scroll down a little bit further, you can actually see the route maps for each one of those airlines. Uh, so the San Juan Airlines just flying out to the San Juan Islands. You've got Southwest Airlines currently providing service to Las Vegas and to Oakland. Uh, you've got Alaska Horizon providing just direct service to Seattle. And then you've got Allegiant Air that's flying to Phoenix, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Oakland, Palm Springs, and San Diego. Now, but I would point out as someone who used to travel a lot uh, for work that um, Bellingham International Airport is, is very convenient for traveling beyond the services provided for these uh, by these other airlines. And reason being that it's easy for you to get to Seattle. It's a 20 minute flight from Bellingham to Seattle. You're through security, you're down to SeaTac. 
grab a coffee, something to eat, and you're, you're on your next flight, you know, off to where, wherever you're headed, you know, that compared to that, you got to plan for probably a two hour drive. You got to get there two hours early, so on and so forth. A lot of times when I'm traveling out of the Bellingham International Airport, carrying on a bag as opposed to checking a bag, I'm simply uh, showing up an hour, maybe even 45 minutes before the flight, breezing through security, jumping on that flight, uh, piece of cake. So Bellingham International Airport is fantastic. And uh, it's going to be relatively easy for your friends and family to find their way here as well, uh, coming through likely Seattle, unless they live in one of those other direct service destinations. Um, coming over to this map that I, I referred to uh, previously. So this is on the City of Bellingham website. It's cob.org. And this is going to show you those four neighborhoods within the Bellingham city limits. So again, it's not showing you, for example, this Marietta Alderwood neighborhood, which this is actually where the Bellingham International Airport is located. It's also not showing you Sudden Valley, which is here uh, again, kind of to the southeast. But it is going to show you these core neighborhoods. And we get calls all the time. You know, people are not certain as to what neighborhoods they should be looking in. Uh, you know, specific to bedrooms, bathrooms, and square footage, we can probably find you what you're looking for in the majority of the neighborhoods that you see on the screen right now. Um, what's going to be different is when you say, hey, I want at least a quarter acre lot. I want at least an acre lot. I want to be in close proximity to the hospital. I want to be in close proximity to I-5. I want to be, you know, whatever those specific requests are, close to the lake. I want to have water views. Um, that's going to help us really dial in the areas that are, are going to be um, advantageous for you to be looking in. And, and of course, budget's going to be a piece of the puzzle as well, right? But this is a great map to help you get better familiar with uh, Bellingham as a whole. And uh, you see you've got I-5 running straight up the middle. Here in Bellingham, we only have this one uh, freeway. We have a variety of other uh, highways throughout Whatcom County, but um, only the one freeway going north and south. Now, if you haven't seen the video tour, the, the vlog tour that I did of Bellingham, I encourage you to check that out. We're actually out in person seeing some homes um, and talking a little bit about these neighborhoods. And I thought for uh, simplicity's sake, I would focus on those same neighborhoods uh, today that I included in that video. So um, the first stop on the tour, because it's not pictured here, we'll jump back to our uh, Google map and show you the Sudden Valley area here. So again, this is just a bit southeast of Bellingham. Um, this is only gonna be about 15, 20 minutes, depending on where in Bellingham you're headed, uh, outside of town. And this is going to be relatively close to uh, a Fred Meyer, which is a, a Kroger uh, grocery banner. Uh, it's gonna be close to the Whole Foods. Um, it's gonna be relatively easy access to I-5 again, in that 15 to 20 some odd minute uh, range. And so this is a fantastic community that we get a lot of calls about because your, your dollar tends to go a little bit further in this community um, and a lot of great homes and a lot of great uh, attributes of, of this community as well. So it's right on Lake Whatcom. You've got access to the lake and a variety of different parks throughout the community. Uh, there is a marina, uh, there's an 18 hole golf course, there's a dog park, there's hiking trails. There's a swimming pool that's open in the summer months. So a lot of great stuff going on in Sudden Valley. And um, as of the time of recording this video, there are 33 active listings in Sudden Valley. Uh, those are ranging in price from 285,000, which is for a condo, all the way up to 1.6 million, which is for a lakefront property. Um, so a pretty big, pretty big span uh, there with regards to uh, price. I would say the average home in that Sudden Valley market is about $550,000. And to give you an example of that, we'll pull up uh, 15 Jasper Ridge Lane. This is a home that's currently on the market. Uh, it is a three bed, one and three quarter bath, 1717 square feet uh, on the market at 549. This appears to be, I've not seen this one in person yet, uh, just came on recently, but, but a really well cared for home. Uh, you can see from the photos, you can tell that the roof is in great shape. You've got this really nice deck. As you scroll through these photos, you're going to see there's a lot of, of really nice natural light, uh, tongue and groove wood ceilings with exposed beams, um, shiplap. I mean, you can tell that they've done some updating here with the floors, uh, but a really nice home at that 550 price point and something that, uh, you know, would be um, more or less an entry level price point uh, for a single family home here in the Bellingham area. Um, and again, Sudden Valley is, is a fantastic spot. This lot in particular, 
can tell from looking at these exterior photos, uh, you know, one of the main criticisms of Sudden Valley is the lack of sunlight because much of the community is carved into the woods. And so there's a ton of trees. Um, and, uh, and, and in some cases that does preclude some lots from having much light, but this one you can tell uh, has a, a nice clear yard around it, trees beyond, uh, but, but tons of natural light, which is fantastic. So Sudden Valley. Um, the number two spot that we took a look at on the tour uh, was the Cornwall Park neighborhood. And you can see that's relatively central here. It's gonna give you great access to uh, kind of this downtown area. Uh, this is going to be the home that I'll show you here momentarily. We'll give you access uh, by foot to uh, a fantastic park, as you might imagine, you have the name of the neighborhood, Cornwall Park. Uh, it's got Frisbee golf, it's got playground, um, it's got uh, a bunch of trails, softball fields, uh, a lot of great stuff going on there, horseshoes, the list goes on. Um, it's also going to put you in walking distance to restaurants, to a brewery, and I would say arguably walking distance, but more comfortably uh, biking distance to downtown, uh, as well as to the Bellingham waterfront. So the home that we actually saw in the, the video tour that we did um, of this Cornwall neighborhood was 2529 Peabody in Bellingham. Uh, this is a three bed, two bath, 1580 square foot home. It's currently on the market at 669. And this is a home that goes back to the, uh, to the early 1900s. You can tell some of the attention to detail here with some of this um, intricate trim work that's done. Uh, again, things that you can tell just from the, the exterior of this uh, home, the roof is, is new and in great shape. Number of updates in terms of cabinets, floors, tile work, um, some of this trim work that's been done. And so again, you know, you're going to see that disparity going from a 550 to a 669 price point. Um, but what you will gain uh, with those additional dollars is uh, significant convenience uh, to town. It's just going to put you right in the mix, as opposed to, uh, you know, again, Sudden Valley saves you a few bucks, really nice lot, really nice home, um, but you are going to be driving to, uh, to, to just about anywhere that you're going to go. So uh, Cornwall Park neighborhood. Number three, stop number three was the Puget neighborhood. Now this is a little bit further south. Uh, this is on the east side of I-5, and it's going to sit up on a hill and afford you some fantastic views. So even though it is um, a good distance away from Bellingham Bay, from the water, um, you're going to have some fantastic views sitting up there on the hill. Uh, this is a home that was a new listing today, and it's, you know, fringe-ish uh, of the, the Puget neighborhood. Uh, this is 707 San Juan Place. It's currently on the market at $1.2 million. It's a four-bed, two-and-a-quarter bath. 2,706 square feet. I'm just scrolling down to see. So this was actually just built in the year 2018 and it's gonna be reflected in the photos. Uh, it's, it's just a really nice, really clean property. You've got your wood floors, you've got your iron rod uh, detail on the stairs, you've got nice chandeliers, ceiling fans, uh, really nice, um, kind of a great room, really open great room concept where your kitchen, your dining room, your living room all kind of flow together. And so, um, you know, that gives you an idea of, of really three different price points, three different neighborhoods. Certainly, if you have questions on any of these, I encourage you to reach out and ask. Um, but we're going to switch gears a little bit, and we're going to move into uh, to food and drinks. And so, uh, stop number one uh, here for restaurants, this is Deanna's uh, Cafe Italiano. This is a uh, fantastic family-owned, from-scratch Italian restaurant it's here in the core Bellingham area. Uh, downtown, um, fantastic food, uh, you know, as, as you would imagine, Italian, nice decor, but, uh, but relaxed, uh, really nice you know, exposed brick. And, uh, and they do a great job, not only on food, uh, but on their cocktails as well. So uh, Deanna's Cafe Italiano.com, encourage you to, uh, to take a look at that. Stop number two was Aslan Brewing, and this is a fully organic, this was Bellingham's first full organic brewery. Uh, I would have to look, I don't, I'm not aware of off the top of my head, any other uh, full organic breweries in the state of Washington, though I wouldn't be surprised if there are one or two more at this point, but this is the first and the only in Bellingham. Um, Aslan Brewing has their location uh, here in central Bellingham, actually uh, just a, a couple blocks away, if that, from uh, Deanna's, but they also have a separate location, the Aslan Depot, which is more focused on beverage, you can order food down from the brew pub. Fantastic beer, uh, really good food, 
talking burgers, we're talking bowls, salads, um, all that good stuff. And so I encourage you to, to check out Aslan if you're in the area. It's actually uh, only about 200 and maybe 50 some odd feet away from uh, the MJB office, the real estate office where I uh, where I work. And so uh, as you might imagine, I'm, I'm there pretty often grabbing lunch. Stop number three is La Fiamma. This is uh, a wood fire pizza restaurant. Now the menu uh, that La Fiamma offers is, is unique as well. And, and in fact, remains that way today. So you can go in for your traditional cheese or pepperoni uh, or maybe margarita pizza, but they also do some really cool stuff, you know, smoked salmon, um, potato. Um, they've got some really unique uh, pizzas that they produce as well. Have a coffee stop uh, here when you're in Bellingham, and we've got a ton of great coffee shops. Uh, it was neck and neck with uh, with a couple different uh, spots here in Bellingham. I chose to show you Make Worth Market, and you can see uh, here just a, a quick shot of their space uh, with a, a downstairs, upstairs uh, coffee bar here behind and uh, you know, explore the Instagram. They've got a lot of great photos of the, the space. They're doing really unique things with their drinks, with their food. Um, it's a great spot to grab uh, not only a coffee, but perhaps some lunch as well. And uh, there's always uh, you know, great stuff to take home as well, whether it's merchandise or uh, coffee too. Um, the next thing I wanna talk a little bit about is, uh, is retail. Um, people are always asking, hey, you know, where, where can I access the things that I need? Uh, and so Bella's Fair Mall is our one true mall. And there are some other, uh, what I would refer to as more like fit malls where you're gonna have like a Best Buy next to a Sierra Trading Post next to you know, a Starbucks and uh, maybe a Joanne's Fabric type, type of a thing. The Bella's Fair Mall is gonna give you the bulk of what you need in terms of um, so your big box stores, your Target, your Kohl's, your Macy's, your sporting goods. And it's gonna have um, some of your uh, major uh, apparel retailers, H&M, Old Navy, Buckle, um, and then a handful of food as well, right? So uh, Chipotle and Buffalo Wild Wings are actually located as well uh, at the Bellis Fair Mall. Outside of the mall, uh, the downtown area also has a lot of retail. And so switching from, you know, your more um, chain and, uh, you know, national retailers at the Bellis Fair Mall, you go to your, your core downtown area and you're gonna get the, the vast majority of retail that's down there is going to be independent. Um, one business that I thought I would highlight is uh, the greenhouse. And the greenhouse has, has, uh, is partly indicated by the name, uh, is focused around home decor, kitchen, um, all that great stuff. And so you walk in, uh, depending on the season, you know, you go in there at Christmas, these massive Christmas trees all decorated with these gorgeous ornaments. Um, that you can pick up, but, uh, you know, otherwise the rest of the year, there's everything that you would need to, uh, to outfit your new home. And uh, fun fact with regards to the greenhouse, the owner actually also provides staging services for a lot of the real estate agents here in Whatcom County. So uh, does a fantastic job of, of, especially with vacant homes going in and uh, staging these homes in a way that help people to, to have a much better feeling and idea of what it would be like um, for this home to be furnished. So if you're in the downtown area, I encourage you to check out the greenhouse. Um, the next spot for retail that uh, is not to be missed is the Fairhaven area. And Fairhaven is this really cool historic district of Bellingham. Um, it's right on the water. So you can see in the photo on the screen here presently. And there's all sorts of stuff going on down in Fairhaven. There's restaurants, there's retail. If we're looking specifically at retail, scroll down a little bit and click on shopping. Uh, the website here is just fairhaven.com and you'll scroll down and see that there are flower shops, galleries, uh, Drizzle is a fantastic olive oil and vinegar tasting room. They've got um, all sorts of um, uh, sea salts and um, you know flavored sugars and, and just really cool stuff. And they focus on all sorts of local things as well. So cheese, and ciders and beers and Fantastic spot to check out. You've got Fairhaven Bikes. You've got a pottery shop, uh, toy garden, uh, village books, really cool local bookstore. And so Fairhaven is, is not to be missed. I encourage you to be down there for a variety of things to do, including restaurants, including shopping. Um, it's a fantastic spot. Switching gears a little bit and talking now about the things to do. So again, I'll tell you about the things to do that are of interest to me, but I wanted to, uh, to take a look online and see what uh, the 
people of the internet have deemed the things that you should do uh, here in Bellingham. And so the number one thing that shows up uh, is Whatcom Falls Park. So Whatcom Falls Park, it's 241 acre park. It's got playgrounds, it's got bike paths, it's got an off-leash dog area, it's got a pump track, it's got uh, like a derby fishing pond that I think is exclusive to, uh, to kids. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful place. And there's also um, not only the falls that you see on the screen, um, but there's also these falls that in the summer months are, uh, are quite popular for people to, uh, to jump off of, cliff, cliff jumping, what have you. So Whatcom Falls Park, if you've got some time uh, to enjoy on a nice sunny day, maybe grab that cup of coffee at Makeworth and head up to, uh, to Whatcom Falls Park to explore. Spot number two, not to be missed, is Fairhaven. Again, we just talked about it with regards to uh, retail, but now we're talking about it with regards to play. So this is still fairhaven.com, but on the play tab. And as we scroll down, you can see that there's a variety of things going on. You've got uh, your Bellingham history tours, you've got Boulevard Park, you have Chuck and a Drive, Fairhaven Park, um, the Inner Urban Trail, the Fairhaven Village Green, you can see in this photo here, there's this big white section on the wall. And what that is, is during the summer months, they actually play movies uh, on the weekends on that wall. So there's San Juan Cruises, there's a cruise line that goes out uh, of that, that Fairhaven area. Uh, there's access to biking, there's the spa and or the hotel, the resort at the Chrysalis Inn and Spa. And there's also um, the... Uh, Taylor Dock, which is photographed here. So this is the Chrysalis Hotel. This is the ramp that goes up and starts, um, you know, in more of the Fairhaven-ish area, with a couple minute walk to, to downtown Fairhaven. And coming down this dock and out to the left, as it appears on your screen, we take you down to Boulevard Park, which is another phenomenal park. Uh, great coffee shop down there and uh, just a phenomenal place to, to, to go for a walk on the beach, um, a lot of really cool stuff happening there. On the list of things to do not to be missed is Chuckanut Drive. Now Chuckanut Drive is uh, this uh, coastal highway that connects Bellingham down to uh, effectively the Burlington, Washington area. Now normally you would make that drive on I-5, but in this case you're doing it hugging the water um, all the way down and experiencing unbelievable views. So this is bellingham.org. Uh, website, you can see this great photo here looking up Chuckanut Drive, and uh, they've got a they've got an itinerary for you if you come and take a look. So there's you know, just taking in the views. There's opportunities to go to some of the restaurants that, uh, for example, the Chuckanut Oyster Bar is up and down uh, Chuckanut Drive. You've also got Larrabee State Park, which is uh, a camping park, a waterfront park. Uh, you got a lot of great stuff going on there. You can hike up uh, onto Chuckanut Mountain and get you up to Oyster Dome to Fragrance Lake, uh, you know, hundreds of miles of trails around that system. And so if you've got the time uh, and, and would like to take in more of uh, the outdoors, uh, whether that is by, by car or by foot, Chuckanut Drive is not to be missed. A great resource if you are coming here and you're, you're thinking about getting out to do some of these hikes, alltrails.com is a fantastic resource and really gives you a good uh, overview of each one of these trail systems, how long the hike is, uh, you know, people are able to leave reviews and particularly if they're recent, they'll talk about the condition of the trail while they were out. So that's something that can be really helpful for you. Um, last but not least, I wanted to touch on the Mount Baker Theater. And so uh, Mount Baker Theater was actually one of my first jobs when I was a kid. I was making pizza. Uh, some odd 17 years old, and I was also working at Mount Baker Theater. So Mount Baker Theater is a historic theater here in Bellingham. It is uh, a performing arts theater. It's gorgeous. Uh, this is the tower that, uh, that, that most people know it for from the exterior. And then here's an interior shot looking from the stage uh, out in the seating area. And so, uh, again, performing arts. Uh, predominantly music, I would say. If you come over to mountbakertheater.com, you can take a look at uh, upcoming events. You will see that the bulk of it is music. Uh, you will have the occasional comedian come through. Looks like Wanda Sykes is coming pretty soon. I've seen Brian Regan there a couple times. Um, uh, you know, occasionally uh, plays. Uh, looks like there's some sort of a stunt dog experience coming up. Man, it, it's just a fantastic place to, to take in a show and to do something that's a little bit different, a little bit uh, unique compared to maybe just going to a movie. 
So that's it. That's your location, your airport, your neighborhoods, your food and drinks, your retail, and your things to do. And that's really all just scratching the surface. You know, I hope that you found this to be helpful. I hope that if you have questions, you'll reach out and we will continue to be putting out these videos on a weekly basis. I encourage you once more to subscribe, to uh, hit the bell for notifications. So you know when we're releasing these videos and stay up to speed on all the great things that are going on here in Bellingham and the surrounding area. Um, again, one last time, all my contact information can be found below, and I would love to be of help to you in any way that I can. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you again soon.